I'm going to launch Chrome and then make my way to the JavaScript console. I'm going to write a factory style JavaScript closure to interact with the page that I'm on. It's a basic object that will allow us to specify the ID of the input field and then allow us to launch a search from it. It's going to contain two functions, one for setting the ID and one for getting the input. Initially, these are just going to be plain old functions, but I'm going to demonstrate how to convert those into true getter and setter properties. Okay, so now that it's set up, I'm going to put it to use. First, I'm going to look up the ID of the input field. That's the value that I'll set the ID for. And when I use the getInput function, I can see it return the input. Using getInput, I can do two things. The first thing is to set the value to the terms that I'm going to search for. And then I'm going to use it to get out the form so I can submit it. So the setup worked fine, but as I mentioned, the two methods that I set up, they were just plain old functions. I'm going to show you how to set these up so you can interact with them as if they were properties. Let's start from scratch in a new tab. I'm going to paste in the closure from before. I'm going to modify the code so that these become true getter and setter properties. The syntax may look a bit strange, but this is how it works. Now I'm going to interact with my object like before. Initially, my input property is undefined, so I'm going to set the ID as if it were a property. I'm going to look up that value again. And now when I look at the input property, I see the input printed to the console. Like before, I'm going to give input its value. And also like before, I'm going to submit the form.